What's going on, everybody? It's the live Q&A. Live Q&A. I'm out and about today. I'm just going to do a walking Q&A. How's that? It's a walking Q&A. You know, I think next week, I'm going to take you guys on a trip with me. Well, the week after the 4th. Gonna go on a little trip. Talking about it a lot. We just finished. Uh, we just finished up basically the four weeks to your first virtual wholesale lease option. And I was just talking to my acquisitions team this morning. I was like, hey, you know, let's make a big push. Let's make a bigger push for wholesale lease options. Let's do that because one, I like it. <laughs> Two, it's good. Three, we can do it anywhere. And four, we get paid. <laughs> so I'm all about the wholesale and lease options. Me and my team are making a real push for that. And uh, I know some of the students in the one-on-one -on -one coaching, they definitely are making a push for wholesale lease options. So I think I'm going to spend more time talking about wholesale lease options this summer. I think I'm also going to spend some time in personal development. Now I know there's a lot of talk out there. Personal development is kind of a it's kind of a scam. I mean, there's a lot of a whole lot of books and tapes. Jesus, this loud street, huh? Yeah, don't buy or sell a house. Don't try to wholesale a house on this street. That's not what's good for you. Yeah, I know personal development's kind of a scam. There's a lot of books out there. You know, I I just recently was listening to a guy named Dan Pena. And he blew my mind. I was basically my favorite book of all time besides the holy bible okay is think and grow rich by napoleon hill think and grow rich by napoleon hill classic classic book and in the book napoleon hill is interviewed by dale carnegie i'm sorry andrew carnegie the steel the steel tycoon and so, Andrew Carnegie asked him, hey, will you take this new philosophy, an economic philosophy, how the common man can make money, better himself and his situation, will you take this philosophy to the streets? Will you write it? And Andrew Carnegie promised to put him in front of Henry Ford, Edison, a bunch of others, and that he would develop this philosophy and put it on paper. Now, the philosophy, he wouldn't develop it, but, I mean, he would put it on paper for us, the common man, so that we can go ahead and learn this economic philosophy of success and become something well <laughs> Dan Pena blew my mind he said that Napoleon Hill never even met Andrew Carnegie I was like what that whole book is a sham and he went on to say the book is solid. The information in it is life-changing. <laughs> but some of the details have been fabricated for your entertainment. <laughs> and to help it sell. Okay. <clears throat> now I know today, in, in today's world, we all hate that. We hate it when, uh, you know, people are trying to sell us something. But yet, you know, we all love to buy things. So I was kind of like, <laughs> like it wounded my, 
my inner child, you know. <laughs> I was like, oh no. You know, can't believe my favorite book of all time was written by a guy who was telling a fake story. But there is something to be said about the personal development, that's for sure. So, whether that book was 100% accurate or whether it wasn't, the fact remains, a lot of the information in that book is still very, 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 very relevant and good. But also, the fact remains that we, as the common man, <laughs> have been given an economic philosophy. We have been given the education, if we want it. And the fact remains that personal development, even though it can't be measured, you're not going to measure your personal development by your bank account because there's people that have large bank accounts that are just assholes. And then there are people who have no money and they are way more emotionally and humanly developed. So... Whatever path I pick to walk today, holy cow, it's like all uphill. <laughs> I'm getting a damn workout on the live show. Okay, hey, are there any questions out there? We're going to spend a lot of time this summer doing wholesale and lease options. And then we're also going to be talking about personal development. Not in some hoaxy, fake-ass way like what I just described talking about you know real you becoming something better you making your life better I guess I think that's probably what we all want and we all think of personal development probably in those terms so Any questions on wholesaling? <laughs> I don't even know. I'm just rambling, guys. I got no real I got no real agenda here for this. I'm just here to answer questions if anybody's got any. It's the 12 o'clock live noon. Noon. It's like I'm climbing a mountain. Let's run it. We gotta get it. Get some! personal development I'm taking no damn prisoners I'm here to win y'all want to see a fat guy get out of breath that's me it's all about personal development though push yourself stress yourself grow that's what we're doing we're wholesaling lease options. And we're changing ourselves into the image we want. If you don't have that image, if it's not very clear, then that's the work that you need to do. Nobody can do that for you. I can't do it for you. Your mama sure as hell can't do it for you and your daddy chances are they're probably trying to figure out their own shit all right i'm going back downhill now Woo! walking downhill <laughs> that's the best part about life huh you push it uphill you hump it uphill for a while Every now and then the universe gives you a break. You get to walk downhill a little bit. My wife's watching. She's like, where the hell is he going? Where's he going? Guys, I'm on a journey. For real. 
like literally but also I'm on the same journey you're on we're on this journey together and this summer I'm all about personal development winning up here I'm so damn tired of not winning right here you know you kick the shit out of yourself every night when you go to bed thinking all those stupid images in your mind about what you don't have or what ain't what ain't coming creditors pissed off exes baby mamas and daddies whatever it is and then you got that that constant I call it Frank I call it Frank Frank is like almost like you know I've personalized that guy you know, even when you're not talking, you're still talking up here. There's something going on up here, I think, for most people. And that has a negative-ass connotation to it most of the time. That's Frank. You know what? Fuck you, Frank. I'm going to win. I don't give a shit what you think, Frank. Yeah, Frank, I heard that stupid story before, Frank. I got a new story, and this time I'm writing it. This time I'm making it up. Love you guys. You guys are my warriors. You're my killers. My warriors. I'm glad you're on this journey with me. I'm glad we're doing this together because this you ever walk alone <laughs> I've walked alone and I've walked hand in hand with people who are of the same like mind as I am and I can tell you that's better thank you for coming along with me on this journey thank you for being here with me because it's better together nobody gets rich in this business alone it's all about getting to where we want to get together separately <laughs> all together separate all together separate I've tried to do it by myself and you know what you get basically you get fuck all with that you don't get nothing you get lonely is what you get. We don't have to be lonely. Because there's other people pushing the same plow. I'm one of them. You're one of them. This group is full of hundreds of them. Maybe one day even thousands. I couldn't say for sure. I'd rather it just be a few hundred. Hell, I'd rather it just be a few, a dozen, that were serious about this. Like they're done fucking around. Like I've been kicking this around, thinking about it, studying it, watching videos. And I'm one of them kind of people that just ain't never going to fucking do anything. I'd rather, I'd rather not have hundreds of those. I would rather have a few dozen warriors. I'm scaring the neighbors of this community. <laughs> or maybe they're scaring me. Holy shit. Guys, you're a blessing. Don't ever forget it. Mr. Rogers said it. Mr. Rogers said it right to your face in his neighborhood and I'm gonna say it right to your face again right here in this neighborhood you're good enough and I like you thanks for coming over thanks for being my neighbor 
let's rock and roll guys